free government money? Sounds like a scam, right? Well, there are scammers who offer you schemes and promise you a ton of money from the government, but instead steal all your personal information. But there are also some legitimate ways that can help you get free money from the government, no strings attached. The stimulus check is an obvious example. The new coronavirus aid package offered $1,400 per person, including child and adult dependents. It also included a major expansion of the long-standing child tax credit. Between those two provisions, some American families received as much as $14,000. There are similar other government programs that can give you additional monetary benefits. But unlike COVID stimulus bill, you'll have to seek out and apply for these financial boosts. Don't worry, we are here to help you with the same. We know of 10 government programs where you can truly get free money or services. But before we start, let me remind you that these aren't really ways to find free money. However, it can definitely help you collect on funds you didn't even know you were missing. So now, let's start our list. Number one unclaimed tax refunds. It seems many people are not that enthusiastic about getting money back from the Internal Revenue Services because it's said that more than $1 billion in tax refunds go unclaimed every year. You have three years to file your tax returns and claim your money. When you don't, the money goes back into the tax agency's reserves. While there's no penalty for not filing a tax return, it's still worth your while to do the taxes each year as it is the money that the government owes you. Number two, find unclaimed money. Unclaimed funds are those funds that are turned over to the state when the rightful owner can't be located. It could be a long forgotten deposit paid to a utility company, a lost savings bond, unclaimed life insurance benefits, or an uncashed paycheck. This can also happen due to a clerical error or companies having an old address on file. There are some websites that can help you with this. You can see if you've got any lost money by checking on missingmoney.com or unclaimed.org. You can find the links to these websites in the description below. Number 3. Down Payment Assistance The great American dream of home ownership comes with a big upfront cost, the down payment. Especially if you're a first-time home buyer, scraping together even 20% of the cost of the house can be one heck of a challenge. Luckily, there are some state-based down payment assistance. These grants and loans help you cover the upfront cost of purchasing a home. For example, Texas offers a statewide program that can cover down payments and closing costs up to 5% of the total mortgage price. The website of Federal Department of Housing and Urban Development can direct you to home buyer assistance programs available in your state. Number 4. Educational Grants College is expensive. In fact, the 2020 and 21 school year saw tuition averages of almost $41,411 for private colleges and just under $12,000 for state colleges. Fortunately, there are federal and state grants that can make paying for college way less painful. College grants like the federal Pell Grant can make it easier to pay for college. Students who are eligible for the Pell Grant could get up to $6,345 for the 2020 and 21 award year. The exact amount awarded is based on factors that include financial need, the cost of attendance, and enrollment status. You can also try to land a Federal Supplemental Educational Opportunity Grant through the Financial Aid Office at your school. Amounts range from $100 to $4,000 based on how much in need you are. You can also look for other scholarships using the U.S. Department of Labor Scholarship Search Tool. Number 5. Healthcare Credits under the Affordable Care Act, low- and lower-income individuals and households are eligible for a federal tax subsidy to reduce the cost of health insurance premiums. Here's how it works. Individuals and families who buy coverage through government's health insurance marketplace may qualify for a credit toward their insurance premiums. You have the option to either receive it when you file your tax return or to have applied to your health insurance premium to reduce the cost. The credit can be paid directly to your insurance provider, lowering your monthly payments. Number 6. Assistance with Utilities According to the latest census data, the average U.S. household spends over $4,000 a year on utilities, including electricity, heating, and phone services. Now, that's a lot of money. For low-income households who are having difficulty paying their utility bills, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development provides the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program. These grants are available to assist residents with their heating and cooling expenses and are managed through state programs. You can search for your state's available programs and aids by visiting the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program's website. 
There's also the Federal Communications Commission's Lifeline program, which helps low-income Americans stay connected by providing up to $9.25 monthly discount on phone or broadband internet service. Number seven, assistance with childcare expenses. Childcare is pretty expensive. In the DC area, the average annual cost can amount up to $22,658, which is frankly impossible to cover for most families. If you are employed and looking for assistance with childcare expenses, the government has a program to help you. Children's Health Insurance Program is a great option for low-income families to obtain healthcare for their children. There is, however, a small fee associated with enrolling your child in this program, but it's usually no more than 5% of your total income. In some states, if you pay your annual premium in full, you might even get a three-month discount. Number eight, free tax preparation. Tax filing time is just around the corner, and some of us might just need a little help with preparing our taxes. Unfortunately, tax pros are quite pricey. In such case, you can get help through Internal Revenue Services Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Initiative. Assistance is generally limited to those who make less than $54,000 a year, persons with disabilities, or those with limited English-speaking abilities. The program is available and free to all, so it doesn't hurt to apply for help. Number 9. Claim for Damaged Currency Has your dog ever chewed up your wallet or your child cut off some cash while playing with a pair of scissors? Don't worry, you are definitely not out of luck, because you can sometimes replace the currency to be spent at your local bank. But if it's overly damaged, even they won't take it. So you're going to have to send it to the Bureau of Engraving and Printing for replacement. The process is simple. You'll need to submit a claim online. It can take between 3 and 36 months depending on how damaged the money is. This is not a quick fix. However, it's a great solution for currency you may have thought just was a loss. So why waste money, right? Number 10. Compensation when you've been scammed. Like we mentioned at the beginning of the video, free money almost always sounds like a scam. And in most cases, that's actually true. If you've ever been victim of such scams, the Federal Trade Commission can help you get some money back from the scammers. For this, the first thing you gotta do is file a complaint with the agency. You gotta explain what happened and how much you lost. If the Federal Trade Commission gets enough complaints, it takes legal action against the company, recovers money, and sends checks to customers. Officials often try to return as much money as possible to each victim. Well, free money is out there in various forms. It's not the kind of money that will be handed to you. If you have a specific need and you qualify, you can either get direct assistance or financing to help you on your way. But there are also grant scams that claim to give you free money from the government in hopes of stealing from you. So remember, the government rarely reaches out to people with offers of free money. And when they do it, it's never via social media. We just want to be careful of where you look and who you trust. Okay guys, that's it from us in our list of 10 ways to get free money from the government. Let us know in the comments how you have received free money from the government as of yet. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you in the next one.